The docks, was it? The docks. Secret rendezvous. Enemies among us. Oh, this is by where the ship captains are, right? Go to the docks at night to intercept and break up the raider captains' meeting. Oh, this is the eavesdropping one, the one the lady gave me. Not the one that we were just talking about. How do I eavesdrop on somebody? Do I just go near them, but not... Oh, if I was invisible, then that would probably... Help, right? How do I... Actually, Isabella, stealth? Uh, 10 seconds duration. Let me see if this works out. Because I don't think... Can we go up here and hear them? I lost two of my men for damned wheat. If oh! If run theme colors, you sink. Care. What? There's other people attacking me. You kidding me? I'm trying to listen to the conversation at the same time. Oh! Okay, does that count as hearing the conversation? Redwater Raiders. I think what happened here was, like, this is the actual quest, and then these are random people who are here, and then they just happen to both be at the same point. So, everything kind of got messed up here. That's okay, we'll, we'll figure this out. Except there's a lot of people then. We gotta be careful. Like, this is a lot of people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Droy would probably be good here. Oh, God. I'm hoping that was the end of the conversation. We didn't actually need to use stealth. Oh, Fenris! Fenris already tried healing. Okay, that's not good. Dude, yeah, they... <laughs> there's like 20 different groups here. Hold up, and there's a lot of ranged people over there as well. That is really not good. Um... It's the numbers. We gotta get the numbers down. Right. You can't let my I'm stuck here. Fenris is gone. Varric is gone. Hold up. Oh my god, dude, there were like... <laughs> way too many people here. Hold up. Maybe what we gotta do is... Let's see. If they both attack us at the same time... Can we get those people attacking us first? The red water people? But it might mess up the conversation is what I'm worried about. Like if we just go up here. Everyone? Up here? Right, they're already here to begin with. I lost two of my... And then we'll just deal with them. Either way, though, as soon as their conversation finishes, they're gonna try to attack us. Yeah, so we did get a quest update just now. I think it counts as having heard it. Now we gotta deal with these people before they finish walking over here. Holy dude, <laughs> there's so many! Isabella? Isabella, you've got twin fangs. Oh, she's already using it. Everyone's already trying their best. Hell of arrows would be good here. I think Varric's tactics probably are not being used to the maximum effectiveness right now. 
so we'll help him out a little bit. Speed. Yeah, is it is it turned on right now? Just everyone. They're coming. They're coming. I'm trying to get the small fry. I wonder if it's supposed to be like that, though. These two groups of people overlapping. I don't think so. Oh, I forgot about Troy. It's just that it was a bit of an unfortunate thing. So it's not completely random, then. It depends on some factors, like maybe when was the last time you saw them, all that. Fenris, I'm gonna heal you up first. Okay, you are... Let's hope this works. Good. Okay, that's good. We stopped them from taking the potion. This guy's gotta go, though. This guy's backstabbing us. Corrupt guards! Okay. Holy crap. Peer pressure. <laughs> Directions to the Red Water Teeth base. Keep your eyes inland. We got a new home here in the docks, but the leech don't want no one to spoil it until we're in too deep to dig out. You know how he deals with people who try to take what's his. Here is the root. Don't overuse it. RWT. Not now, man. Varric, be careful. Some people in the back here are just trying to pretend to be not there. Okay, you guys deal with that. I'll go over. We good? That was too easy. That was a lot of people. Like, a lot. My goodness. That means a lot of goodies for us. Maybe. Anybody using a- <gasps> You serious? Oh no! I haven't been selling my stuff properly. If I just leave the stuff here, will it still be usable later? <sighs> <laughs> okay, Fenris, I'm sorry. Just, uh, just take these rings right now, okay? Ignore the name. Ignore the name. And then who was this for again? Oh, this is for Fenris. That's right. Okay, you can have that. <laughs> I'm sorry about the slave ring. Hold up. I just need some free space. That's all. No hard feelings, okay? None whatsoever. Magic? I don't think you need that. Sailor's is rope belt. Good one for you. Or the rogue belt. Okay, we got a little bit of free space here, but I really got to go back to a shopkeeper soon. Oh yeah, this would be good for you. What about me, though? I care about me more than I care about you. No, it's good. You can have it. Heartbreaker. Oh, this is the one that we just took away. Dagger. But even the regular dagger is better than the heartbreaker, despite the cool name. I'm sorry. Backstabber. Heartbreaker. Yikes. The name makes me want to keep it, but I know I'll never... I'll literally never use it. I'm sorry. The mall... Yours is better. Wait, this one has plus 42... Or, uh... Yeah, 42 attack. It's not damage, it's attack. That's fine. And... I'm gonna just... Maybe... I mean, these bows here. We don't have a bow person at all. These stabs might be good for one of our many mages. Anyway, we should pick up the stuff and look at this in detail in a bit. Leather eye patch. Bottle of rock gut. Okay, so... Was that a side quest? Return to the suspicious lady and the hanged man tonight. Let her know the raider captains are dead and their plans were overheard. Peer pressure is... Right around the corner. Uh, around many corners, but... Relatively around the corner. Massacre. There were all sorts of people there. Mabari Caller. I can't equip Troy, can I? I don't think I can. Superior Light Raider Armor. It is not superior. Alchemist Protective Guard. It is somewhat better. It's got a rune slot. But it doesn't have the critical chance and damage. Oh, it's like, okay, okay, fine, whatever. Light gauntlets? No. Yeah, I, I kind of like this one, though. Mm. And these random belts I can probably just 
whatever it. We'll find better ones. Once, if we actually have more people that need it. Okay. Ooh, that was something. Varric. I'm actually gonna really quickly take a look at Varric's tactics. I have a feeling his tactics are not that great. Yeah, it doesn't even have the um, health right now. Is it using all of his stuff? Oh, it is. It is, so it's not so bad. Okay, I'll keep it like that for now then. And then Isabella, aggressive. Aggressive, I'm aggressive, she's aggressive. Maybe somebody... Okay, we have way too many aggressive people, probably. Maybe Fenris should be more defensive then. Not passive. Default? We'll just default it. And you... I feel like you had more skills than that. We gave you a s bit of new stuff, right? Defender, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's give that a try. But the... I'll set the health thingy here. We don't actually have that many potions though, so we gotta figure out how to um, make health potions if we can. I don't think it was in the list of stuff that we could order from the order potions place. I'll have to check again. Yada yada yada. Alright, thank you. Yeah, we only have seven potions in total. Alright, red waters. Oh, there's so many already. Alright, I got you. Hello? It's one dude. Isabella, use your miasmic flask and whatever. Oh damn, who just freaking killed the guy in like one hit? What was that? Come on. Yeah, Varric. You're getting attacked from the back now, though. Fatiguing fog. Now we walk away. You good? Oh, oh. Those guys are just chilling. Oh, it's the same as usual. Not like anything we haven't seen before. Warehouse. I suspect these people aren't gonna want to talk. Leech. Nice name. Mm, that was a waste of the thing. Isabella, your twin fangs. Oh, no, 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 not now. Not now, because they're almost dead. Oh, damn, nice. Oh, we're in some... What the heck just happened? I don't... Is there a mage here? Leech is a mage. We just got Isabella. Did I just... Oh, my God. We gotta get him. ASAP. Ooh, even Hawk is losing health rapidly from whatever that was. I gotta summon Troy again. Hey! Don't touch Varric! I'm very low on health too. That's the bad thing about our composition right now, because we don't actually have a mage, we don't have a healer. We're just banking on being able to do it by brute force. Breath, Hawk. You do get results, don't you? Which we did, you know, we did fine in, but Isabella, it felt like she went down in one second. What was that? We'll go home. We're not gonna use an injury kit here. Now, was that all? Oh, we can't go over here. The door's not openable. Is that? Oh yeah, we got a merchant. Merchant, please. 
Thaylis Shortbow, Footpath Secret. Oh, goodness. Not this again. The belt is probably pretty crap, though. Oh, Varric! Oh. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Didn't we have rings here? Okay, where... Seven health. Not bad. Wear a ring for now. So that we have one more slot. But I think that's probably the best of what we can do. Amulet? Do we have an amulet in the junk? We do. Physical damage, fire damage, physical damage. Okay. Okay, now we really gotta go back to a merchant. Oh, there's more! Just two guys, waiting for their doom. Oh, please. Just money. Good, good. What? Dude, how many guys are there? Are you serious? Come on. Let's hurry up and die already. I got your leader already. Was it the leech guy? Actually, on the letter there was an acronym I didn't really understand. RWT or something? Maybe it's that person. Yo, I don't have any more inventory space. Could you please just die? Another one. I guess I should be using the backstab first and then the twin fangs, just to maximize the back damage. Are we good? Red water teeth were once called the dandy lampreys. True story. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Okay, let's do some attributes here. Wanna try assassin something? We got the thing last time, but didn't get to put anything here. Mark of death. Bloodlust, drawing energy from the kill. Assassin regains stamina. Oh, this is really good. Hmm. Stamina. The other one, we have it in Origins. I remember it. Marking the enemy so that they get hit for more. Which would be good against boss monsters. Okay. We good? If we want to visit a merchant, I know why we haven't visited one yet. Because we've been wandering around during nighttime. At night time, everyone goes back to their own home. There's no merchants. So we gotta make it daytime. But this should mean that the docks are safe? I think so. Good, good, good. We can go back to the hanged man. And then... I'm just thinking about ha Oh, this used passage. Hold on. There is some merchants here, right? I'm not sure if they're here during this time of day. But it's pretty dark down there, so I'm hoping the answer is a yes. The one merchant that was here before. Hold up, where are you? Where am I going? Docks? Wait, hold up, how does this place... There you go. Bonnie Lem. Hi. You find things, you sell things. The tricky bit is placement. Sell junk, thank you. Oh, so I had so much junk. And now this person here. Thud, Pucker's Fist, yada yada yada. Superior Shadow Gauntlets, pretty nice. Enchanted Silverite Chain Belt. This is so good. And I actually can afford it, even considering the 50 sovereigns we have to pull up for Bartrand. That's it, right? Yeah, these are both nice, but... Not like, super mega nice, kinda nice. Okay. Footpath secret. Same as mine right now, kind of. Plus 18 attack. Well, I like the critical damage better. So this is a cell. March of Thunder. I can't use it. Helm of Victory, I can't use it. Random Belt, 
Go away. And then... Oh, maybe for Fenris. Fenris is using a two-handed sword. Yeah, I have way too many bows here. And nobody to actually use these bows. I'll save one. Spirit damage, fire damage. One of our mages can probably use that. I'll keep that. Yeah, it's just showing the stuff I sold him. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be going for now. Now we can get back to the hanged man. Wait, no. I killed a Redwater, but that wasn't the one that Martin told me to um, do. Okay, if we want to do that as well before we go back to the Hanged Man, just for efficiency's sake. That one... That one is Finders Keepers. Locate Martin's stolen cargo on the Lowtown docks by day. Daytime. Daytime? Hanged Man. Enemies Among Us. Sure. Lots of stuff here. Remains of the outlaw. <laughs> okay. Ravani, stop looking at my chest. My eyes are up here. <laughs> but the chest, huh? Do you know how much I suffer under your gaze? I am a person, not an object. Uh, Varric? <laughs> <laughs> Just shitting you. <laughs> These two seem like they'll get along. Watch out by the Canari compound. They seem very angry. Yeah, it's okay. I don't intend on messing with them at all. Here. Gustav Loose Ends. Jarvis Black Powder Promise. I'm trying to remember which one's which. This is the Martin one. Get the cargo. Oh, I'm sorry, Isabella, you're still injured right now. Hang on there, okay? Did you board us once? Oh, you left us drifting. I don't know you, you don't know me. Oh, random person recognizing Isabella. I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. Am I allowed to have it or what? I could use your assistance. I'm looking for crates sealed by the Olesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? Right, come in. Harbor Master Liam. I mean, we are at the docks already. Where would Harbor Master Liam be? Over there. Sure. Watch out by the Canari compound. They seem very angry. Why are they so angry? They're waiting for the the guy back at the pub said they were waiting for a ship. Do you know anything about the Mage Underground? Oh, you can't go to the disused passage during daytime. I didn't know that. Shipping manifest. I'm looking for cargo bearing the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the Harbor Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for Orlesian cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. This is code word for, I want a bribe, right? <laughs> I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. No, we're not paying. They say your life flashes in front of your eyes before you die. You're not gonna kill me in broad daylight. No one's that stupid. Do you want to bet on that? Oh, I can't. Are you serious? I'm... I'm not paying for this. Then I am deeply sorry I could not be of more assistance. Good day. That's bullshit. Liam leaves his office at nightfall. We could sneak in after dark, take a look at his records. 
<laughs> I'm gonna make it nighttime again? I'm not paying. If we're going the roundabout way, so be it. <laughs> Get out of my office. You're in the way. Your office? You don't even have an office. You're just standing here. Get out of my face. I seek any information on suspected apostates. No apostates here, sir. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay. Well, if it, we're gonna make it nighttime again, let's just clear this stuff around here. Hand in somebody's remains and then loose ends. Loose ends. Which one was that one again? We'll have to see. Walk in peace. Only job that will have me. I think you let this get away from you. You just stumbled on this? Can't say I'm surprised, bloody fools. It's somebody's remains. <laughs> he talks about it like it's an amulet he found on the ground. Loose Stay ends. Back in the same spot again. Loose ends. Find Lord Harriman by the at the docks by day. I I honestly don't remember which one this is. Yeah, I do get the impression that instead of gathering a whole bunch of quests for efficiency's sake, we really should be doing them close to when we first receive them, because otherwise, the snippet they give me here is not enough to remind me what this is about. Oh! Okay. Gustav? Oh, dude! Did I kill him? Gustav's dead! Was that a guy on our side? I don't even know. Hold up. Yeah, 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 I'll help you out. Where's everyone else? Fenris! Let's do something! Let's go! Bolster. Stamina regeneration. Whirlwind. There's only one dude here, though. Got some nice big skills. But I think Hawk's damage is way higher though, DPS wise. Oh, there's still more. Oh. Hawk! I've seen you with Miriam before. Did he send you to get me? Harriman's guards killed all my men. I thought I gave him the slip, but they found me. You tell Mirren, I never turned on him. This is one of Mirren's quests? I'm not going back until you can walk limp or cruel behind me. One of our guys, uh, right? I think I can walk. He got it before Harriman's men could do much damage. His rear guard saw us coming. They fell on us from all sides. Which any professional would have expected. That's him. That's Lord Harriman. Most of my enemies would not stoop this low. Are you working for Conrad Tooley? Perhaps Lady Reinhardt? What have you done that so many people want you dead? You sound Ferelden. So you should know I'm the one who convinced the Viscount to send aid to Denerim. Many of my fellow noblemen resent that. They want me dead before he sends the money so they can reclaim it for Kirkwall. Oh. Will you kill me for this? I don't remember the full context for this, but let's see. Somebody wants this guy dead. They sent the job to Mirren, who told Gustav to go kill him. Gustav didn't kill him. Now I'm here to see what's happening. And now, it should be my job to kill this guy. That's what's happening, right? But now there's a complication because... Apparently, whoever hired us to kill this guy... They just don't like that he's sending money to Ferelden's. He's convincing the Viscount to send money to Ferelden's. 
That doesn't directly affect me because we're not even in Denerim anymore, but Ferelden's are probably still not doing too well in Denerim. Hmm. So if I don't kill this guy, Mirin probably would be pretty upset with me. Am I ideologically against this? Oh, this is a bit of a tough one too. Well, I don't directly work for Mirren anymore, I don't think, but if I just start willy-nilly picking who to kill and who not to kill, I feel like that sets a bad precedent. But then again, Ferelden, that's a weak spot for me. Even mercenaries, all mercenaries have a... Everyone comes from somewhere. Oh... This is not a job I can complete. Yeah. Thank you, Ferelden. When I learn who sent you, I will be sure to leave you out of any retribution. I don't want to be the one to tell Mirren you did that. Then don't. Don't. Wow, Varric actually appreciates that. Report back to Mirren in Lowtown after dark. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is being a very good mercenary. <laughs> right after I was saying stuff like... Oh, you know, I'll do anything as long as you pay me money, but I guess everybody has their weak spots and if you talk to me about Ferelden stuff, that's really hard for me to... Um... Yeah, I mean, that's my weak spot, right? The end. That's pretty much it. Well, I don't think this will be... Mirren looked up to me too, or he didn't look up to me, but he respected me. He thought I was one of the competent people, so we'll see how this affects our relationships. Jarvis, Black Powder Promise. This one, what was this one again? It's a main one. Tell Jarvis that the Tal Vishoth are dead. Go to the Kunari compound by the docks at day. I'm doing it. Don't get your ass in a twist. What are you doing? Kunari compound? We can actually visit it. The alienage is dirty, crowded, and full of awful elven diseases. Yes, elven diseases that don't affect humans. Actually, kind of wonder how the diseases are like here. Are there certain diseases that only affect certain people? Let me pass. I have business with the dwarf Javaris and your Arashok. The short mouth, yes. Enter if you must, Basra. You go on ahead. I would rather not. Oh? Do you have any... Is there any beef going on here? An awkward time to run off, Isabella. Ah, oh, you know I'd never leave you. It's just that I really have to leave. Now. Okay. No wonder there's a thing here. Okay, for whatever reason she doesn't want to come with us, that's fine. I'll bring someone else then. Someone who is very diplomatic. <laughs> we don't have a diplomat here, everyone! Everyone's terrible at talking, really. But someone inoffensive? Maybe not a mage, but Aveline's gonna... I don't know, man. It's either mages or the city guard. Uh... We have Varric. I think Varric would be a good one. Just to talk to the dwarves and all that. Isabella not wanting... Oh, I'll bring my sister. She's inoffensive. Even though she's a mage. Just be quiet and look pretty in the back. How's that sound? All are forbidden. You are the exception for now. My entire party? And my dog? Hi. Wow, you all have like those tattoos. Kind of looks a little bit like blood. Scary. Hey. Ah, my right hand arrives. Summon your era, Shock. The bargain is done. About time you showed. I've been here for hours. Is that leader of the Kunari? Arashok? <laughs> He's like huddling on a little stool. Ari Shokost. Maras Shokra. Anan Isamkun. 
What? Lacune from an elf? The madness of this place. Oh. He can speak. Kun? Tell me that helped. We shall see. Yes, well, that said, I'm here to report that your hated Talvashoth were felled, one and all, right? Yes, they were. So, I'm ready to open negotiations for the explosive powder, as we agreed. No. He's not getting it. Make your chatty elf say something. Why, why no, though? Can we get an explanation? But this one seems... okay. Any insight that would help? Kunari, do not abandon a debt. Yes. I humbly request clarification from the Arishok. I have a growing lack of disgust for you. The dwarf imagined the deal for the Gatlock. He invented a task to prove his worth when he has none. Then we have wrongly inserted ourselves in your affairs. Would you have us kill this dwarf? Wait, what now? If you face Talvashoth, he is not worthy of dying to you, as he was not worthy of dying to them. But you, you keep good company. Let him live, and leave. Okay. We kinda got roped into this. They didn't even have a deal, the dwarf made it all up. Uh... I mean, I'm okay with just leaving and having our business dealings conclude right here. You may want to take this opportunity to go. But he has to sell. It's a product. People want it. There is no profit in empowering those not of the Kuhn. The means of creating the Gatlock is ours alone. It shall be dispensed only to our enemies in the traditional manner. The usage you manner. You are a frustrating people. And you're fired, sobbing bunch of oxmen and dog lords. A whole lot breathing smoke. Pah. You will leave as well, human. There's no more coin for you here. Okay. I mean, I guess so. What else can we do? The Kun. Long ago, the Ashkari lived in a great city by the sea. Wealth and prosperity shone upon the city like sunlight and still its people grumbled in discontent. The Ashkari walked the streets of his home and saw that all around him were signs of genius. Triumphs of architecture, artistic masterpieces, the palaces of wealthy merchants, libraries, and concert halls. But he also saw signs of misery, the poor, sick, lost, frightened, and the hopeless. And the Ashkari asked himself, how can one people be both wise and ignorant, great and ruined, triumphant and despairing? So the Ashkari left the land of his birth, seeking out other cities and nations, looking for a people who had found wisdom enough to end hopelessness and despair. He wandered for many years through empires filled with palaces and gardens, but in every nation of the wise, the great, and the mighty, he found the forgotten, the abandoned, and the poor. Finally, he came to a vast desert, a wasteland of bare rock clawing at the empty sky, where he took shelter in the shadow of a towering rock, and resolved to meditate until he found his answer or perished. Many days passed, until one night, as he gazed out from the shadow of the rocks, he saw the lifeless desert awaken. A hundred thousand locusts hatched from the barren ground, and as one, they turned south, a single wave of moving earth. The Ashkari rose and followed in their wake, a path of devastation miles wide, the once verdant land turned to waste, and the Ashkari's eyes were opened. Existence is a choice. There is no chaos in the world, only complexity. Knowledge of the complex is wisdom. From wisdom of the world comes wisdom of the self. Mastery of the self is mastery of the world. Loss of the self is the source of suffering. Suffering is a choice and we can refuse it. It is in our power to create the world or destroy it. And the Ashkari went forth to his people. This is the primary teachings of the Kun for the Kunari. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay, that was a bit of a weird one. I assume we're gonna probably continue off this somewhere else. The Arishok was impressed by the deaths of the Tal Vishoth, but Jarvis got nothing. Yeah. Fenris, though, you can speak Kun? We have a purpose, but when it is done, do we leave Kirkwall like this? 
Thank you for seeing us. Why do you bother me, human? I hire no blades and need no goods. Your kind thinks selfishness and want are normal. This city, all of it, leaves a bad taste. If you despise this place, why haven't you left? Since we arrived, I have seen nothing but greed and weakness. Dwarves, humans, elves, just festering. No order, no goal. You are one of the few I have met with any ability. And yet this too was random, a result of selfishness. Mm -hmm. I cannot fathom how a mire like this can be justified. You say we should leave, but how can you bear to stay in this chaos? Well, I don't like it, but it's all we got. I hope to make it better. I'm barely surviving as it is. I don't have it in me to um, have such a long-term goal. Hmm. I take no blame for this city. I'm new here too. And it disgusts you as well? Some of it, but would it be so different anywhere else? The same everywhere. Karisten are soldiers. The Kuhn made it so. They can never vary from that assigned path, never be other than they are meant to be. But they are free to choose within that role, to accept and succeed, or deny and die. Glory is clear and defined. You claim it is no different anywhere else. We deny that, with a certainty that would benefit not just you, but this whole city. Is he trying to convert me? It's back to the whole Kunari belief again. We had this with Sten over and over again. If you get assigned a role, like why... Why do they feel so strongly that that's the only thing they can do? He's free to choose to obey. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be. As do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. I am not the one to educate you. I did not intend to land here. But this city may demand certainty. I suspect we are done, human. Demand certainty? What are you gonna do? Enslave us? You're a long way from home. Why did you come? To meet a demand of the Kuhn. Which was? It is a matter only the Kunari understand. We remain until we fulfill the demand of the Kuhn. Or until the demand changes. As in your teachings? Kuhn as in your teachings, not a particular Kunari that's saying you should do something? Okay. I don't think Kirkwall would do well under military rule. The rule of the Kuhn is not military. It is discipline and order. How is that different? To your limited understanding, it is not. You fear soldiers that arrive to remove your pitiable vices. But they do not control Kunari. The Triumvirate divides and governs. One is nothing without the others. It sounds a lot like the stuff that we've been reading in the codexes about how the initial Kunari invasion. Are you looking to start another one? I really hope not. Can you tell me about the other two parts? No. <laughs> then we can learn nothing. I am no more equipped to explain than you are to understand. Ari Shock, Ari Gaina, Ari Kuhn. Pillars of the Kunari, of the nation that must be. There is but one way to know these things, human. And I have yet to decide if it must be done. I mean, yeah, that sounds like a full-on invasion to me. How many Kunari have you lost to the Talvashoth? None. That seems unlikely. We lose nothing when weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. I met an honorable one. Doubtful. 
But he said he was a mercenary, not a murderer. Then I know he made no claim to honor. When they sell themselves, little remains. He is not even dead to the Kuhn. He is a living insult. How many Kunai no, that's back to the same one. The None. We well, lose that guy. When weakness abandons the Kuhn. It is the Talvashoth who have lost themselves. He directly talked about selling himself, the act of selling himself, because we were saying, hey, would you take money to help me kill the rest of your friends? And he said no. So he had some concept of that too. You guard your powder carefully. It is a tool that can only be allowed to exist under the ordered authority of the Kuhn. It could benefit many people. It does now. Just as swords benefit warriors, but are not given to children. Well, your children. You give them to Kunari children? Okay. Thank you for enlightening me. Farewell. Panahedan, human. Troy! Troy, we're... we're... intruding on the people here. I think you've got enough coin together to get in on the expedition. We ought to go see my brother. Do you remember what that awful Canari did in Lothering? I'm nervous having so many here. Bethany, I brought you here because you're inoffensive. Be quiet. We should move on. Hmm. What did Kunar? What did Fenris say to him? I don't know, but it helped having him around. We didn't accuse them of abandoning their debts. That's probably a good thing. The Kunari. The people of the Kun are perhaps the least understood group in Thetis. The Kunari wars were brutal, but so was the Chantry Schism. So was the fall of the Imperium. Some of this misunderstanding is an accident of nature. The race we call Kunari are formidable. Nature has given them fierce horns and strange eyes, and the ignorant look on them and see monsters. Some is an accident of language. Few among the Kun's people speak the common tongue, and fewer speak it well. In a culture that strives for mastery, to have only a passable degree of skill is humiliating indeed, and so they often keep quiet among foreigners, out of shame. Oh, that's not how you learn a language though, you gotta... If you don't practice, you can't get better. But much of it is a result of the culture itself. The Kunari view their whole society as a single creature, a living entity whose health and well-being is a responsibility of all. Each individual is only a tiny part of the whole, a drop of blood in its veins, important not for itself, but for what it is to the whole creature. Because of this, the Kunari most outsiders meet belong to the army, which the Kun regards as if it were the physical body. Arms, legs, eyes and ears, the things a creature needs in order to interact with the world. One cannot get to know a person solely by studying his hand or his foot, and so one cannot truly meet the Kunari until one has visited their cities. That is where their mind and soul dwell. In Saharan and Parvolan, one can truly see the Kunari in their entirety. There, the unification of the Kunari into a single being is the most evident. Workers, whom the Kun calls the mind, produce everything the Kunari require. The soul, the priesthood, seeks a greater understanding of the self, the world, and exhorts the body and mind to continually strive for perfection. The body serves as the go-between for the mind, the soul, and the world. Everyone and everything has a place, decided by the Kun, in which they work for the good of the whole. It is a life of certainty, of equality, if not individuality. A life of certainty. Hmm. If nothing else, this whole dwarf dealing business put us in contact with the Arashok here, which I imagine is gonna... Yeah, it's, it's the beginning of something. Curious why Isabella ditched us so quickly, though. Well, I guess we continue then.